Hey guys, Jen here with another book review. I know it's been weeks since I've done my last book review, but I was currently reading The Son of Neptune, but I soon got bored of that and um I dropped the book. So sorry about that. Hold on. Um This is take two, apparently, of because this is the second time I'm doing this book review because my shockwave crashed and everything, and now I have to redo the book review, and now I'm kind of, like, annoyed right now, because I have to redo this. So, I finished reading The Hunt for the Seventh by Kristen Morton Shaw last night. I rate this book an 8.5, really liked it. It was recommended from, it was recommended to me by a teacher, so, on to the synopsis. A haunted mansion, six dead children, a garden of statues. With every step he takes around the carefully manicured grounds of Minerva Hall, Jim is haunted by the ghosts of children, long dead, whom no one else can see. Urging, to, urging him to find the seven, the children leave him cryptic clues pointing to a devasta devastating ancient prophecy that only he can stop from being fulfilled. Jim befriends another boy, Einstein, who lives at the hall. Einstein is autistic and very, very smart. If anyone can help Jim find the seventh, perhaps he can. Einstein clearly knows more than what he is saying. At the same time, the dead children seem to be leaving Jim some sort of macabre, macabre um, treasure trail. If Jim doesn't figure out the clues, innocent people will die. But how can Jim find the answers while the dangers of the hall grow ever more threatening? And even if he can, the real question is, is Jim already too late? Really like the book. Sorry, I'm really tired. Um, warn- oh, forgot. Warning, if you do not like spoilers, get off here and stop watching this video and leave. Because I'm bound to say spoilers. I bet. So. Um. This book was really good. Um. Einstein. Um. Einstein is Lord Henry. Lord Minerva's son. Um. Jim, his dad, and Sal, who's her, his, um, little sister, go and live at Minerva Hall since, um, his dad got a job as head gardener there. Then the, the dead children keep urging him to find the seventh, and, um, Jim, like, starts to see, um, their clues. Like, and then he meets, he meets Einstein, then he starts seeing the clues. Their clues, um leading him to find to stop the prophecy um blind meg's prophecy he was the witch of seven stone which is the town that's next to minerva hall um jim like every time he goes to a ch statue of one of the dead minerva children he sees how they die like a memory of the past so and then there's this little clue at the um, at the um, foot of the statue, at the base of the statue, that shows him where to go next, like the next Minerva child. Um, I'm gonna skip to the summer solstice where this is all gonna like become interesting, because apparently, um, Einstein is dead. Um, Lord Minerva's dead. Uh, Lord Henry is dead. Um, the prophecy is starting to become filled, cause, um, um, the town, ev the lake is starting to flood, um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, he knows that, um, Henry's dead because, um, nobody else can see him, cause when he start, his dad was furious with him cause he was, like, trespassing. And like wandering around the hall and um 
and now his dad was like got fired so like this is the time of the flooding he got a letter saying that he was fired because of um Jim and Jim was trying to explain to them about Einstein and they thought he was joking they were furious at him Miss Benson aka the cook was there too and she said that um Lord Henry Lord Henry went to a boarding school which he really didn't he died um Lord Minerva like um Jim, wait, hold on. Jim stopped the flooding of the town, Seven Stone, um, and all the children were able to go and go to the to heaven in peace. Um, Blind Meg too. Um, they found out because apparently, um, Einstein was like Einstein left a clue behind a tape. A security tape of Lord Minerva and his butler like dragging Lord Henry's body to the lake and letting him drown because um, how he died is they drugged um, his um, bedtime cocoa like hot cocoa and he was drugged and they like wrapped him up in chains and like let him die in the lake because apparently Lord Minerva Lord Minerva never liked his son in the first place. Like, who would do that to a child? I wouldn't. It was in the old sealed room that was Oswald's room. Oswald was the second Minerva child to die. Um, and so yeah, they found the security tape in there. They don't know how it was, how it got in there because there are no other openings. And the paint around the door like sealed it for like over centuries so yeah anyway um Lord Minerva became like totally paralyzed cause he was paralyzed from like I think it was his legs that were paralyzed cause he was in a wheelchair but now he like became totally paralyzed and was sent to like prisoner hospital like a jail hospital and he could only move his eyes so and he died, and then there's an um, epilogue about two years later. Anyway, everybody's living peacefully again. Lord Minerva died. Um, and everything's okay. And then Jim sees Blind Meg again, and Blind Meg, like, gives Sal her healing stone that was hidden. Like, he, like, she, like, kind of helped Sal find the healing stone. Sal couldn't like see any of the ghosts or nothing. So she was normal. Jim was kind of abnormal, maybe a psychic. Anyway, in the end, everything's fine. Um, the town didn't flood. Jim is kind of like a hero, sort of. And everybody's living peacefully. So yeah. It was a really good book. I really liked it. I recommend it to you if you like kind of like horror, mystery kind of things, kind of genres. Um, I rate this in 8.5. And before you go, I wanted to tell you that I'm now currently reading Mistwood by Leah Saipas. Um, I'm borrowing this book from a friend. I thought it was, I heard about the book. I thought it was good. Um, and she let me borrow it. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about the book right now. Because I might finish Mistwood in like a couple days time, if not more. So, yeah. If I don't get distracted by reading fanfiction stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye!